What's going on guys, welcome to a new tutorial in Adobe Edge Animate CC. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to get started with the application. And that's because a lot of things do change with Edge Animate. And we'll see here some new stuff and also some things that you might be familiar with already. So we're going to go create new and select ourselves a new document. I'm going to create a shape over here with the ellipse tool. And we're going to change the color right over here. Select blue. And let me just make it like this. This is going to be our first button. And what's going to happen here is we're going to right click on this and select convert to symbol. And we're going to call this button. And this symbol is just a way that you can actually recreate or reuse your assets that you have in your project. And right here on the right hand side, we have the library. Right here, we have the elements panel. And then on the left hand side here, we have the properties panel that looks very similar. And over here, we have our timeline where you can scrub on the timeline. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is create a stop trigger in the beginning of the timeline because I'm using a button here. So either Command T or Control T. And we're going to type in SYM.stop open parentheses, close parentheses, semicolon. Now, if you don't remember that, you can also select playback and then select stop and you can do it that way. Either or works. Then we're gonna close this out and we have our stop trigger right here. Then we're gonna create ourselves a label, command L or control L and type in animation. So right over here, an animation is gonna start. So we're gonna set a keyframe over here for the opacity and then we'll increase the opacity and you'll see it's a very simple transition. We can also do this for the size over here. And if you want, you can unlink these. It's really up to you. We're going to create ourselves a stop trigger for this. Command or Control T. And again, we're going to type in SYM.stop. Open parentheses, close parentheses, semicolon. So that'll stop the animation. Just to let the user know that they're going to select this, select Auto, and then select the pointer. Now what we're going to do is give an action to the button so it can play the animation. Right click on the button, Open Actions, and select Click. And then we're going to type in SYM dot play, open parentheses, in quotations, animation, close parentheses, and then semicolon. So the reason why we put animation here is because the label over here says animation. Close that out, command enter or control enter, and that's your first animation. As far as the actions for Edge Animate, you can type in coding as I was doing, or you can select these options over here, or a combination of both. It's really up to you. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.